Good morning, everyone. This is Dan with uh, Senior E-Bike Nation. Hey, we're going to do a little comparison uh, now that I've rode uh, both the Walkie X3 Pro and the Juiced Rip Current S Step Through. I can't give you exact comparisons because they're a little bit different style bike with the Step Through on the Juiced, but other than that, everything is pretty much... Uh, going to be the same. So let's talk about this. The uh, Walkie X3 Pro has got a 750 watt rear hub motor and the Juiced I think is a thousand watt rear hub motor. That's going to be your main difference there. And on the um, batteries the Juice has a 48 volt, 14.4 amp hour battery. It sits down here in the frame. And the Juice has a 52 volt, 19.2 amp hour battery. Now, keep in mind, and I will put the price points um, in the description on the video, what they both cost, because I want to make sure that I get that correct. So. You'll see that on the video itself. Now, as far as um, ride on the bikes, I think the Walkie X3 Pro is a better ride because it's got dual suspension front and back, where your Juiced only has front suspension on the bike. And that makes a big difference on comfort when you're riding. The seats, no comparison. The Walkie 3 X3 Pro has definitely a much more comfortable seat than the Juice does. Much skinnier design. It's fairly comfortable, but not as comfortable as the seat here. So, between that comparison, I give Walkie the better grade on the seat and the comfort. And the suspension. Definitely going to be better. Now, as far as pedal assist levels, they're pretty much the same. Um, they got basically the same kind of uh, display controller where the, um, on the juice, I was, able, I was able to de-restrict the speed, which was nice. I just went into the settings, and I'll do a short video on that about how to do that where I unlock this from 20 mile an hour to about 26 to 28 mile an hour. So there's a little difference there. But it was an easy setting I found on YouTube, so I did do that. You can see my cat out here trying to get attention. Um, but yeah, other than that, they both got 26 by 4 inch fat tires. On the Juiced, I'm not sure the company make on the tires, but on the Walkie, they are definitely Kenda Crusade tires, which are really good uh, tires. As far as bike racks go, I had some extra veneers I threw on this one. Uh, the comparison is pretty much the same on the bike rack, except the Walkie 3 has a much larger bike rack where you can actually put a couple more things on there if you want to. This bike rack almost swallowed this uh, this uh, Rock Brothers bag I have. As far as the uh, lighting goes, they both got decent headlights. Uh, nothing really to talk talk about as far as the brightness. I like the style on the walkie because it's got more of the motorcycle look on the headlight, where the uh, Juiced does not. And on the juice bike, this is just a little flasher that you have to put on the uh, rear taillight. You gotta push the button in order to get that thing to flash or whatever. On the walkie, it's wired, and, you, and as soon as you hit your brake levers, you can see the light light up on the walkie in the back. So that's a clear difference on the lighting um, on both bikes where the walkie also gets the uh, thumbs up on that. Now let's talk about handle grips. I think the Juiced has much more comfortable handle grips. They're wider 
they got a, a, a little larger um, palm area you can put your hand and they're a little longer than what the walkie is. The walkie, my left hand, when I've got it on this handle, my thumb actually hits the um, gear cassette lever, and I'm, I don't like that. So I'm going to have to move the uh, brakes and the, um, the brake mechanism in a little bit on this handle. The style of the handlebar, I have to say, I like the juice better. They got more of the uh, motorcycle look, uh, curvature of the handlebars. You could add a, a stem riser on this, which I already did um, on one of my bikes. Not either one of these, but I'm going to put stem riser probably on both of these. Now this one, it's got an area that you can adjust this lug to this handle to go in and out. And this one does as well, but I think I need a stem riser on this one for sure. Because I have to stretch out just a little bit when I'm riding this bike. So, and I'm, uh, I'm six foot tall, 5'11", and uh, I've got fairly long arms. So, I need to probably get a stem riser for both of these bikes, actually. Now, as far as the um, cassettes, this one's got a 9-speed cassette, and that's got an 8-speed cassette. And to me, that don't really matter a whole lot on these bikes, and I'll tell you why. I ride in the same pedal assist, which is the high setting, almost 95 to 98% of the time I'm riding any e-bike. I don't know why these e-bike companies don't come with belt-driven, direct-drive, single belts instead of all these gears, all these uh, shifting you have to do. Nobody ever shifts that much anyway on an e-bike, especially if you've got a, either a thumb throttle or a twist throttle. You're going to use that to get across an intersection, go up a hill a little bit. Um, the only thing it is advantageous to have the gears if you're going up a hill and you want to conserve battery, that you can uh, gear down on that bike. But I would rather see just a belt driven on any e-bike. Uh, the older you get, I'll be 72 in November, and the older you get, you want less things to have to fix. So when things start breaking on you and breaking down, uh, you want to simplify it. You want to simplify and make these bikes more like of a minimalist type of bike. And um, as far as the battery goes, uh, getting to it, it's harder to get it out of the spring. You have to pull this bike 90% in order to get this battery that sits in the uh, frame itself and the down tube. Where this one, this one just slides over that uh, you can take it off and charge it. So as far as the battery capacity, I give the Juice Bike um, a plus because it's a larger battery, 52 volt versus 48 volt. And as far as the braking goes, uh, I think they both probably got 160 uh, millimeter uh, disc rotors on them. They're both hydraulic brakes. They're very comfortable. This one squeals a little more. I must have got some oil or something on the disc. So I've got to get some rubbing alcohol and some brake cleaner to get that noise out of there. But yeah, that's that's kind of the, some of the main features of the bike. Um, all this stuff is aftermarket. I couldn't put bar and mirrors on this juice because of the handle design. I could remove that and change the handle grip, but I'm not going to do that. So I have this other style mirror that I just use that, where the walkie, I was able to put in these mirrors that I love, that um, they got a tint to them and they adjust very well. So um, I want to thank Richard down at uh, E-Bike Reviews and Adventures. He recommended these, and I ordered these right off of his website or his uh, bike channel. So I want to thank Richard for that. And I want to give a shout out to Richard. Uh, he does such a great job. He helps me all the time when I need help. But visit his channel down at E-Bike Reviews and Adventures. Subscribe to his channel. He puts out some really, really good stuff. So anyway, that's, that's a plug I want to put in for him. Now as far as um, kickstands on these bikes, they're about the same. Actually, as I'm looking at these kickstands, they're the exact same kickstand. Same design by the same company. So 
They're mounted in about the same exact place as well on the bikes. So um, there's no difference there. The pedals are also about the same. I am going to get wider pedals on these bikes. I don't like the width of either one of these. So I will be changing that. But as far as overall comfort, I gotta give the walkie the, uh, the best uh, ride as far as the two goes. As far as speed, this one will get up to about 33 to 34 mile an hour. If you're in pedal assist five, um, I'll tell you what, it's, it's fast, very fast. Now, as I mentioned, I did de-restrict the speed on this, but it did get up to 26 or 27, verse 20 mile per hour. That was a little bit of difference there. But um, yeah, that's a little bit about the bikes. Uh, if you guys got any uh, comments you want to put in about either one, if you own these bikes, uh, I want to thank Walkie and I want to thank Juiced for kind enough to send these bikes to me to review. And uh, I just wanted to give you guys um, a little perspective about the two bikes. One of the bike companies wanted me to do a comparison with another 26 inch fat tire bike, so here it is. But again, I want to thank you guys for watching the channel. I want you to uh, hit the uh, like and share and hit that bell notification. Subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys on the next video.